Hi guys, I wanna go over your Latin America assessment. So just know that on this section, you're gonna need the map to do it. It's just like we did on our pre and our formative tests. Please do not write on the maps. Next, you have your three um, words, tributary deforestation and isthmus. You do, you do not write the definition, you write a sentence that applies to Latin America using the word. So remember, if it's something like canal, I could say the Panama Canal creates a straight uh, route from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. Next, you have your some multiple choice. Note that on number 37, it says choose all that apply. Make sure that you are choosing all that apply. On 41, 42, and 43, these are constructed response. They are worth two points and you need to use complete sentences. On number 43, remember tectonic activity is earthquakes or volcanoes. Look at number 44, it says choose all that apply, so remember to choose all that apply. Number 45 is worth two points and you need to use complete sentences. Please restate the question on all of these. On number 47, you need to use this map or this graph to help you answer the question. Numbers uh, 49 and 50, you need to use the chart. You have seen this chart before, so this should not be a problem for you. Remember, on numbers 49 and 50, they're worth two points, and you need to write in complete sentences, and please restate the question. The back half of the test is our document-based question. Read through document A right here, and then look at the political cartoon of document B. Then you're going to use those documents to fill out our um, two charts. Remember, this is our T chart right here. You're doing the most import important characteristics of the history of United States and Cuba, and then the government of United States and Cuba. After that, you are going to fill out the top hat just for United States, just for Cuba and then the similarities between the two. This can be anything from the documents or also from our previously learned um, material. Then you will use those organizers to answer these three questions. You need to use complete sentences and you need to restate the question. So if you guys look here, it says using your prior knowledge, so things we've learned in class and the organizer. Identify some similarities between the histories of Cuba and the U.S. 54 is prior knowledge and the organizers to identify differences of the governments. And then number 55, you're just using document B to describe the current relationship between the governments of Cuba and the U.S. So that concludes me going over the test. If you should have any questions on the test, feel free to go ask Mrs. Collip or Mrs. Cheney for any help. Or you can circle the number and then I will get back with you on it when I return on Wednesday. Good luck, guys. We've studied a lot and you can do this. I'll see you Wednesday. Bye.